What's up everybody, Holy Walkers here, walking another video to your doorstep guys, and we are out here in Waco, Texas. We're actually gonna explore the cemetery over here now. I've got Beverly Horn with me. She is one of our fans. She's awesome, she's amazing. <laughs> Such wow. a great person. We're about to have a great meal tonight, Jace, courtesy of her. We got Jace up here. What's up, Jace? He's our tallest member. Yep, We're Jace. We're missing Keith right now, but we'll have him here with us later. Yep. Yes, he is. Tonight we'll be doing some scary, creepy videos in the dark. Can't wait. Anyway, but we're checking out some things in the daytime. So we came out to the cemetery. We're gonna check this out. Now, the last time Beverly was here, she said she was getting really bad feelings, feeling really sick out here. So we don't know what's out here. We're gonna check it out and see if we can get any spirits talking to us or something. Anyway, guys, also we're gonna check out some other places today so you guys will get to see several explorers and uh, let's get into this. Also guys, if you haven't done so already, you should go check out, Beverly Horn has started a channel as well. She's got a few videos on there already. So go check out her channel. It is under Beverly Horn on YouTube and I will draw the link down in the description so you guys can check it out. So go subscribe, show her some love. All right guys, peace. Ethan, Kyle, do the floss boss. next to him. I don't Come know on. how to do that. The bro three the brothers need to do the floss. I'm too step. dumb. I can't. Do it. Just try it. Teach them. Teach them. I don't know how. There you go, Ethan. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Kyle. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You look funny doing it's like, that. It's like, like that, then you, you can't do it fast. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't understand how my hips do. I don't know how the arms and the hips go either. Alright, are you going to show us the Fortnite dances? We got the Fortnite dances now? I can do that one. Ethan? No, I'm not. Ethan? So where did you get a sick feeling? It's down here. That's where I'm headed. Alright, let's go down there then. walking around and it was just like it just gave me a sinking feeling and then it was closer to dark I don't know if that just did something but I would walk around and just read off all the, the names and and then all of a sudden I started getting sick to my stomach and I was like well I think I'm doing it now because <laughs> it tastes good me yeah and I was by myself. They'll just do it and then they'll add the stone after. Yeah, that one's broken over there. It's weird. That's 1872. Kind of congestion? That's ridiculous. That's. Taken sick. That's so interesting. They have so much information, right? They died of congestion. Yeah, and it's like 18. That's, bro. That's, That's cool. insane. And see how they would do the months. I thought the other one was like 23 hours, seven months, two days. They do the months and days. I saw that in that other grave. This is pretty old. There's some old graves here. It's weird that they have like almost like three it's different like stones. Three that's where I'm. Um, that's it's one stone. It broke. You not see it? Yeah. It's broken. It's sad because it just, just means that whoever oh, is in charge of this graveyard doesn't want really to take very good care of it. Well, see, I, I mean, a lot of this gets left right to the people, now. family. Yeah, but a lot. Of, yeah, I know, but a lot of times graveyards will hire care, like type of thing, like that, to make sure at least the grounds stay in decent shape. 
Yeah, this one. So this is... 1853. 1893. That's an interesting gravestone. It's over in these... This one? Alright, so... Obviously the older graveyard. She had some, like, kind of sick when she was here the last time. This is like the Mason stuff, right? Oh, Freemason. Oh. Is there records in Freemason? I come walking up here and I my eyes just start pouring water. Really? And I can't leave it. Well, there's some infants buried right here. Yeah, like something is so sad. Though. Yeah, there's a baby. Another one right here. Little babies. Maybe that's it. Yeah. This one wasn't even named yet. This one was Virgil. Yeah, yeah, That's sad. And it says, budded. It says, budded on earth to bloom in heaven. This is just boring. It's the same couple. It's, one of them is Virgil. Like, oh, you're right. Yeah, it's the same day. It's the same people. And then they had another baby. The year, like... After. Like, no, like two years before. Well, this one was like earlier. No, it this was, one was born two years before. But it died in 1908, and then in 1909, they were having this baby, and it died, died the day it was born. The day it was born. That's so sad. So they lost two babies. Two babies. And then a couple years. It's really sad. It's so sad. The saddest part to me is the how this one's named and this one's an infant. Because they hadn't even named the baby yet. That's sad. Uh, and it's crazy because it's yeah. the 1900s, which, not that that didn't happen then, but you think of now, that's so common for people that are having trouble having babies. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. These are all. These are babies. 
So these are all baby grays. Did you hear that? Beverly? All of these are baby grays. All of these are baby grays. So that might be why you're filming. Yeah. This one was 10 this years. One, this one's, they died 1889. Yeah, okay, so this one's normal. 21 years, three months, and 29 days. I think this is saying 10 years old. 10 years, six oh, months. Oh, that's a child, right? That's sad, too. It's either 10 or 19. It's hard. It looks like it's 10. These are all sad. It might be 19. 21 years Still is too young. young, too. There were several young. Like, they were 29. The one over there was 23. But no, not. We have in 2000. Guys, we're all talking about that, right? Same thing all over there. Tons of infant graves. Yeah, I wonder what maybe they I had. Was, was it around the same years? In the early 1900s. Early 1900s. Oh, wow. So I wonder if they had like a because there was the, what was the one that we know we had. It was the Spanish influenza. Florida was like uh, it was, hmm. was it yellow fever or not something like Spanish that. I was my whole time I was recording. I was talking about I can't even imagine losing a child at that age, such a young age, at any age, but especially. At a young age. Well, no, then was, there were there were kids over here who were like 7, 10, 18, 20 years old. Well, a lot of the twenty like eighteen to twenty one died during the war. Yeah. Nineteen forty, nineteen forty five. Um, but I was praying for them. Walking across who? Just Beverly. Walking across and she just stopped here and she said she just started like crying and she didn't know why. And then I we didn't move. we were standing there forever. Yeah. Like, oh, these together, are all and I was just like, oh it's the baby graves. Look, this is an infant. This is yeah, an infant. No, they're all over. They're here. everywhere. Yeah. I yeah. just saw part ten. Right? I don't know. There's so many of them. I didn't and they don't even have the names. Some they? of them. They do in a lot of them over there. Oh, no, they don't put all those in. They give you war. If they don't have twins right over here. Twins. That the idea. Yeah. Baby. But what Ethan said to me was that. Some gray, a lot of infant graves out here is what we're finding. Um, look at all the infants. Look at all these infants. These are twins. 1923. Oh, these are all infants. Yeah. These are all, those are all infants. But not scared. No, it's just a no That's what I... That might be what you were feeling. Yeah, absolutely. The first time, too. It's literally a graveyard of children that are dead. Well, it makes sense, because there's a lot of child... It's literally 10-year-old children. If it was during, like, a lot of the child deaths in certain years. Another child? This one's... 10 years old. Yeah, these are two 10 year old children. And this one's not 10 years old. No. Yeah. No. Much younger than that. Older. No, five. Five. Oh, four, four years. Five. It's five years. Yeah. Well, it's, uh. I mean, this one. It's the same five. people, too. Did you see? Same parents. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, same. that one, too. This one and this one, I think, too. Oh. They're all the same people. Yeah. 
It was a so lot of families. 1898 to 99. That's one year old. No, that's it's an order. It goes from this way to this way. 98. It's only like six months. 98 to 93. That's so sad. Four kids. And these two. Now these two were older. Ten and five. Yeah. It was all like literally th they all died around the same time. Oh. Uh, it's horrible. So guys, this is a family. You can see the names are Jason, Mrs. Rice, and they're all that. It's a ten-year-old, a five-year-old, a one-year, like a six-month-old, and. Um, that kid is like a two month old they all died this one was ten there's like, a lot families of just like they the lost older. their children all in like one year period and there's just like, more look they had a child, five year old child, two one year old child they all died same period of time see lots and lots of infant deaths and I believe there's even more as you go out here so yeah if you you know kind of what Heather was saying like losing a child is devastating but losing children like this where you're trying to grow your family you're getting married trying to have babies and much like people today same thing uh, and just losing them at such a young age. Yeah, these are all unknown graves. All of these. So I don't even know. Those are from. But losing your, your children and planning your family and then you can't have babies or you're still like that's like an illness going around or sickness or something that would cause children to die at a young age. So sad, so devastating, so definitely just say a prayer for all those families out there that may have lost a baby, that may have been trying to have a child and lost them at such a young age. Um, and then to have unknown your family members, you know, I don't know if this is a war or what it was, but family members that are just, no one claims them, no one knows who they were, or maybe they were unable to be identified or they represent certain people that died during this time. I just say a prayer, in Jesus' name, where I pray right now that those who are trying to have children, Lord, that you would bless them, that you would bless their wounds, that you would allow them to have the opportunity to have the blessing of a child in their life in some way, adoption, whatever it may be, Lord, that you would bring joy to their hearts again and bring peace for what they've gone through. In Jesus' name. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash the like button, comment down below, whatever you see, whatever you heard. Just a somber moment uh, that came over Bev and it's very emotional. So um, again, all of our prayers for all of you out there and blessings and losing someone is hard, but losing children is devastating, especially because we do this for our children. We're out here. Um, so prayers for all of you and your families. We love you. And our hearts break for you if you've lost someone like this. Um, but what a somber moment and a reminder of how precious life is and how amazing it is to have children in your lives. And never take that for granted, the blessings you've been given. So I love you. Peace.